Hello viola players! This video is to help you practice your shifts for the G major scale. So when we practice shifts, there are two steps we're going to use in this video. Step one is hear it, and step two is move it, okay? So when we're doing step one, we need to know which notes we're moving in between, all right? And then which fingers we're going to use to move there. So let's use G major here and we're gonna start, let's start in first position. Let's play the first half of the scale just so we uh, know where we're going. And you're welcome to play this with me or just listen the first time. And then I do hope you play along with me and practice. Um, towards the end of this video, I will practice with you. So here we go, we're gonna start on the open G string and do the first octave of the scale. <laughs> And then usually we'd shift right there on the D string. Um, for the for our first for our first step, however, we're going to first just hear it in, in um, first position. Okay, so usually that that would be where we shift. So the first piece of information we need is right there. We are moving between F sharp and G. Okay, so let's play F sharp and G again in first position, and that's going to help us hear it. F sharp, G. All right, now let's move there, and we're going to move there with our first finger. So, okay. So I slid on my first finger. I slid lightly, so you don't want to squeeze really hard while you're sliding. That's just going to make it harder for you. So you're going to slide really lightly. And use your elbow to help you get up there, okay? So again, important things, hear it first, that's step one. And then step two, as you move it, it needs to be a light slide and you use your elbow, okay? So hear it first and then slide lightly with your elbow. Here we go. The notes are F sharp and G, we'll hear it first. And now slide with the first finger. You can check it with your open G if you don't have tapes. If you do have tapes, you should be on tape three with your first finger. All right, here we go. Let's practice it four more times. F or yeah, I think three more for the video will be good. F sharp to G. Step two. I slid on my first finger. So my first finger was on the string the whole time and my elbow helped me. Let's go back down. That time coming down, you slide on the second finger, all right? Because that's where you're gonna land. So it's important to know, <gasps> shoot. It's important to know where you're going as you get there. So here we go. Feet on the floor, body's nice and tall. Find your F sharp. And now let's play it in first position first. Now move it. Let's go back down. And two more times. And one more time. Hear it first in first position. And now move there. And back down. Once you're comfortable with that shift, you've done it um, three times at least on your own, excuse me, five successful times. If you did it perfectly with me in the video five times, that's great, okay? If, however, you made some mistakes as you're going, that's totally understandable. And you can pause the video and um, take some time to make sure you've done five good ones before you move on today. The second part of the practice is to prepare for the arpeggio. So it's important that we practice that shift as well, and it will be a different shift. Um, let's see, in our arpeggio, we're gonna be going from, instead of F sharp to G, we're gonna be going from D to G. So let's go ahead, I'll play that again for you nice and slow to show you where we're going. And this is the second shift that you'll need to practice. Here. 
a nice G chord. So I'll show you that again now and I'll break it down into the two steps. So step one is hear it in first position. Step two is move it sliding lightly with the support of the elbow. Here we go. So D to G in first position on the D string. Now move there, slide on the first finger. And you see my elbow came in and now we'll go back and make sure your elbow goes out. Like I said, it's totally okay to hear it the first time, or to hear yourself slide the first time you're practicing it. Let's see if we can get better light here for you. All right, here we go. Four more times. Ready, move it. And back down. Ready, first position. Third position. In this case, since we're starting on the open string, I actually don't put my finger down until I get there, okay? So it feels to me, this this shift is actually, I think, harder than the first one because there's no, there's no finger on the string as you're going because you're playing the open string. So it's really important that you do use your elbow and you'll start to get the muscle memory of where you're going into third position. For this one, it's, it is pretty tricky to know where you're going though because you won't put your finger down until you get there. So. So you can't really feel where you're going on the string, but you can start to feel where you're going in the elbow. All right. I know that's kind of weird, but that's, that's the way that you start to learn how to do it is with the muscle memory of your arm. You'll remember where third position is and it'll get easier and easier the more times you practice it. So let's do it three more times and then this video will be done. Here we go. Open D, third finger. Now I'll go to first finger. You see there, I can feel where it is. I don't know where my tapes are. I don't have tapes or I, and, and I didn't feel where it was on the string, but I felt I know where third position is because you can see my arm is open here and then it gets a little smaller. So focus on how it feels in your arm. Here we go, two more. And again, first finger. And let's go back down. It's really important when you shift down that your elbow comes back out. Let's do one more, here we go. Elbow in, elbow out. All right, now we can play it together nice and slow, bottom to top. I'll go ahead and play the scale as well so you can hear both, all right? At this point though, if you want more time just to practice on the, on the shifts by themselves, you can stop the video here, you can rewind, watch it again, or you can just practice it on your own. Either way will work great. Here we go, open, uh, starting on open G, taking it nice and slow through the scale and arpeggio. One, two, and three, and four, and. <laughs> to do is open D, open, a, uh, sorry, open G, open D, and then first finger B on the A string. That'll be a really nice chord to finish it. Now on my scale, I, I actually shifted, I shifted one string too early when I came back down. So let me do that one more time for you so you can see the proper shift on the D string coming back down. So the shift is always going to be first to third or backwards on the D string. All right, here we go. One, two, and last time, here it is. That 
Josh to do it for you. Thank you for being great students. I will see you all soon, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.